guys, welcome to the channel. We are at yet another Kentucky road cut. So uh, along the AA highway and uh, I just stopped a few minutes ago in my time and probably a couple weeks of videos in your time at the uh, site maybe five miles up the road. It was all shale with the Kopi formation. This one looked kind of promising, so let's uh, see what kind of fossils we can find here. Let's see, even before we're very far from the car, we got a whole bunch of bryozoans. Fun stuff there. Already, I can tell by looking, compared to the first site I stopped at, there's a lot less shale and a lot more limestone. There's still both at both sites, but uh, this has more of that limestone, so it was probably a little bit calmer of an environment. We're not calmer, shallower. Lots of bryozoans and lots of crinoids in here. Looks like that might be part of a gastropod. Still hoping to find trilobites. I've only found a couple of just pieces of trilobites today, no full ones. This is a good road cut though. It's good and far off the road. Nice and safe. Ooh, look at this rock. This rock is huge and it's all crinoids and uh if you've watched any of my other fossil videos you know i love the crinoids they are my favorite because they look like little cheerios they're so cute it's just like a little rock with all the sprinkles in it i can maybe take that one home but i don't need any more of these but that's just a big piece i wish i could have this for my yard I don't think Alex would approve if I brought home a giant boulder. <laughs> Lots of uh, bryozoans in here, which are a moss animal. Kind of like a coral, but a little bit different. There's a... There's some more bryozoans and crinoids, some brachiopods in there. A good, uh, good mix. Ooh, a nice little gastropod. He's nice looking. All right, that piece I can maybe justify taking home. It's got enough going on in it. And uh, this is a very nice crinoid piece. Look how dense. There's so many crinoids. I love them. They're just all so different. It's like looking at like a jar of buttons that you spilled out on a counter, but uh, instead of buttons, they're little fossils. And uh, if you don't know what a crinoid is, it's basically a sea lily. So all these little circles are little segments and the segments stack together to make like a stem. And on the top of that stem, you have what looks like a little flower, but it's actually an animal, so it's like the feeding part on top. This is a little brachiopod. Kind of looks like a modern seashell. This is a nice, nice crinoid piece I'm taking that with me. There's another big piece just full of crinoids. A couple pieces have just eroded off of it. That was gonna be a horn for it, but I think it's just a piece of bryozoan that's kind of weathered. More happy little Cheerios. All right, we gotta find something besides crinoids. All right, I can't tell if that's a little trilobite butt or if that's a. Uh, brachiopod it's just in this big chunk it's staying behind regardless of what it is but let me know what you think it is Some more 
the crinoids in there. All bunched together in the middle bit. More bryozoans. These are kind of some neat bryozoan clusters. That one. And this one. I wonder if this was like all the top, like it was all one piece, or if it's just a bunch of broken pieces together. I don't know. But uh, you know, they seem nice enough. I'll uh, take them home and clean them up and get a good look at them and probably give them away. So I just picked this piece up and it's got this big curved piece on it. I'm not sure if that's part of the cephalopod. Yeah. Let's see if I can clean it off a little bit. Or if it's something else. But it's weird shaped. So I'm gonna take it with me. Maybe I can bust it out of here with my air scribe or I don't know, figure out what it is. If you know what it is, let me know. My my vote's on the cephalopod piece. But uh that's a pretty big one if it is. And then, that's brachiopods in that one. You'd probably want to see that too. That one looks like someone hammered on it. I'm not the only one here. More, more, uh, more crinoids. You can see the kind of a segment of a bunch of pieces stuck together there, and then some of the uh, tops of them. All right, guys. I found a uh, a nice little bit. I don't want to collect too much today. As I've said in a couple of my other videos from this trip, I'm uh, just on a scouting mission today. So it's just like a one day trip through Indiana and Kentucky to hit up some road cuts and see where we want to come back to for future videos to do more in-depth um, collecting. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you uh, liked all the crinoids. I was happy with the spot, so this is definitely one I want to come back to in the future. But uh, thank you guys all so much for watching and have a good day.